here's my new video about mental health. Hope you'll enjoy it. Sometimes we all get those days where nothing seems to be going right. So what can you do then? Here are some things that have helped me through those days. Reading a book to get my mind off things that go on in real life. Here are some of my favorites that I have at home. First is The Green Mile by Stephen King that I talked about while telling you about movies. Second is Wilki Dwawo Bronie Stada, which means in English Two Wolves in Defense of the Herd, written by famous Dominican Adam Szustak and musician Robert Litza Friedrich. It's about crises in the family and how to overcome them. It's very really inspirational and involves tasks for the reader. Another one, The Light Between Oceans, written by M. L. Stedman, about the lighthouse keeper and a young bold wife who went through miscarriages and they find a baby in the boat one day on their island. After that we have The Chronicles of Narnia from C.S. Lewis, which were also my favorite childhood movies. It tells the story of four English children who are being relocated to an old country house following a wartime evacuation. Soon they discover a mystical world through a wardrobe in this house. It's full of talking animals and mythical creatures. Then there is Agatha Christie's The Twelve Flavors of Hercules, which is actually a set of stories, which main character is Hercules Poirot, famous detective. Another is Blinded by the Lights, from Polish writer Jakub Zulczyk. It has a serial adaptation on HBO. It's a moving view on our modern reality in which drug dealer becomes as necessary as a doctor or a firefighter. These books are a mix of genres, so maybe everyone can find something for themselves. Watching a movie or a TV series to travel to a fantasy world in my mind and let my imagination run wild. Here you can see series that I love and have on Netflix, or I'm waiting for new seasons. First is Sons of Anarchy with seven seasons, full of great actors, motorcycles, rock music and emotions. It shows how motorcycle gangs in the USA were working in the past. You can get violent, so beware of that. Next is La Casa de Papel, a Spanish series of uh, love motifs, different characters and the morality questions. It's about the heist on the mean under leadership of clever professor. It has four seasons. Then it's Trailer Park Boys with 12 seasons full of laughter and many adventures of the main three characters. We get to see their lives in the Trailer Park. There are also spin-offs like Trailer Park Boys, Boys Europe with them traveling to different countries in Europe and doing special tasks and Trailer Park Boys USA. Same concept but this time with the States. Another is Spanish El Chapo with three seasons focused on famous narcobos who ran away many times from prison. After that we have fantasy series Cheering Adventures of Sabrina with three seasons and new take on well-known witch Sabrina, Spellman. And now something with short episodes for people who are always on the run. The end of the F word, it has two seasons and each episode lasts about 20 minutes. It shows James and Alyssa, two teenagers with different problems who run away together. There is a lot of dark humor and beautiful pictures. Another quite wild series is The Tiger King with one season. It talks about Tiger's breeder who is crazy and shows advantages and disadvantages of such business. After that is N with an E. A modern version of N from Green Gables stories with amazing takes, actors and many moving moments. Wrapped up in prison seasons, one of also modern and interesting sci-fi serials is Black Mirror. It has five seasons and each episode tells us a different story which shows the, uh, the disadvantages of technology and how it can impact the society. Now it's time for a hard moving series that touches some hard issues that teenagers, teenagers face and is definitely not for sensitive people or the ones who have traumatic experiences and can get triggered easily. It's called 13 Reasons Why, based off the book and has got 4 seasons. Trigger warnings are suicide, rape, bullying, mental illnesses, drug or alcohol usage and gun violence. Something lighter will be Orange is the New Black, with lots of humor and distance. Of course, it also has sad moments 
as it tells us stories of women in prisons in the USA, but it's mainly a comedy series with mix of drama. It has 7 seasons and is for 16 plus people. Next is Stranger Things, a sci-fi series with 80s vibe about a group of friends who meet this girl with powers, lose their friends and have to face some bad people. And there is another Spanish one, Narcos. It has three seasons. The first two talk about a well-known narcoboss, Pablo Escobar, and the third one focuses on other narcobosses. Next is Sherlock with new take on famous detective Sherlock Holmes. It's full of sarcasm and, and clues that get us involved into guessing. It has four seasons. Another one isn't on Netflix, although it used to be. Full House, with cute small Olsen twins. It's from the end of the 80s and the beginning of 90s. So we can see how uh, the way people dressed change and their talk. It's also quite funny, it tells us the story of this big family, so you can watch it with your own family. Then is a TV show RuPaul's Drag Race, with 12 seasons and drag queens competing for the title of the best American drag queen. It shows a lot of humor and struggles that they face in life as well. It's really inspiring. And last and my number one series that I've been watching since being little and seeing it on, on TV, Supernatural. I was growing up with its characters as I reminded myself of this show in 2014 and have been a fan ever since. It has 15 seasons and this year is the last one, so it's quite sad for me. It tells us a story of two brothers who fight the, the evil supernatural things, drive Chevrolet Impala from 1967 and listen to rock music while doing it. How amazing! I recommend everyone this series and hope you like this list that I have made. I will also show you some of my favorite movies. First is Norbit, a crazy rom-com in which Shy Norbit meets the girl of his dreams while living with not very really happy about a wife. Then is a classic Forrest Gump based on the book. This comedy takes place in the 60s and 70s and is seen in the eyes of genuine good-hearted Forrest Gump, whose fate throws him in the center of big historical events. After that, is a curious case of Benjamin Button, which won three Oscars, and shows the story of a man who is being born as old and wrinkled, and gets younger with age. Next, next is Catch Me If You Can, based off the true story and a book. It is about trickster and counterfeiter chased by an FBI agent. After that, also Leonardo DiCaprio is the great Gatsby, also based on a book drama about mysterious and rich Jay Gatsby. His obsessive love and mix of actions that led to a tragedy. Another one is The Green Mile, based on Stephen King's book that tells the story of a prison guard who discovers that his prisoner has mysterious powers and tries to prevent his execution. Next is The Theory of Everything, based on a life story of Stephen Hawking, who was a scientist touched by a disease, muscular dystrophy. After that, you can see a Polish criminal drama, also based on the true story called The Exostime Gangsterem, How I Became a Gangster. It's about an ambitious gangster who climbs on a ladder of his career and faces a big chance. It's violent, so be aware. Then is my all-time favorite, The Lovely Bones, based on a book criminal uh, movie. It's about a murdered pair who's stuck between heaven and earth, watching her family who can accept her being gone. It's beautifully recorded and very touching. Next is El Arbol de Sangre, the Tree of Blood, a Spanish movie with LGBTQ motifs and a drama. It's about a married couple who trace their past and get to know secrets from it. Then there are movies which are not on Netflix, such as The Danish Girl, a biography and a drama about marriage of painters where one of them changes gender. It shows her struggles as she had to hide who she really is, so nowadays a lot of people can relate. After that is Terabitia Bridge from my childhood, this fantasy and adventure drama talks about history of two children who create their own fairy tale world. Next is a classic Pulp Fiction from great Quentin Tarantino. It's an action movie about two paid killers, gangsters, wife, boxer and a couple who is robbing people in a restaurant. Then is Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, also from Tarantino. This drama is about old Hollywood, its movies, actors, directors and other people from industry. It also tells the story of director Polanski and his wife being murdered by Charles Manson's gang of hippies. It looks and 
and sounds beautiful, so you should see it. Last but not least, that wet society. A drama about charismatic English teacher in a conservative high school who tries to teach his students love through a poetry and carpe diem notion, staring greatly Mr. the Robin Williams. These are all of my favorite movies and I hope they are interesting for you. Either a poem, a story, or just write down whatever's in your mind. It can help you express your thoughts and feelings. Here you can see my poetry mini blog on a Tumblr platform. It's called Thoughts from Another Universe. Uh, this one is in English. And you can uh, look my poems using the archive or just scrolling. There are a couple of them. Some are reposted, but you can see that. And there are also my thoughts on different things. And just, just something that's on my mind. There are some photos as well. And there's also a playlist of songs that I used to listen to at the time of starting the blog. So sometimes I just go to the playlist to reminisce on what I used to listen to, to go back uh, in the mind and I don't really update this playlist, maybe I should, I don't know, but for now it's just like that and the poetry uh, helps me calm down sometimes or just dump all the bad thoughts that are stuck in my mind and you can see the second mini blog which is in Polish and uh, there are my Polish poems and also thoughts or something that I want to share and there is also a place but mostly with Polish songs which isn't updated either but if you want to listen to them maybe check out what we listen to over here feel free so you can see the link feel welcome Listen to music. It can be something happy to cheer you up, but also something sad to help you process your feelings and acknowledge them. Here you can see my playlists on YouTube. I also use Spotify, but here you can see it all in a nice way. So first is fresh with new songs that I like, are upbeat and fun. Then is my rock cheese with mainly rock music, classical and calm. After that we have Polskie, Polish with mainly Polish songs. Next is In The Other with songs that don't fit any other playlists, parodies, mixes and old songs. Another is Us To Chill, Hot Chill with chill songs, lots of rap and things that I listen to to relax. After that is Życia Life with songs that I can listen to millions of times and still not get bored of them. Next is Not The Chill, Night Chill with songs that I can listen to while lying in bed at night. Next is Grace Love Faith with some gospel and religious songs. Another is Always Good with old songs that I still listen to. And we have Off with songs that calm me down and make me focus just on them. While listening, then is Dark Yes with also some powerful songs that I love. Then is My Soul Jazz Blues, focus mainly on these genres. Then are Dobre Blende, Good Blends with blended songs, mainly Polish rap. If you'd like to hear what we listen to in here, feel free. Next is Dauta for a car, songs that I put on while driving. Then is Summer Vibes that remind me of summer. Then Nanots for the Night, another playlist that I listen to in the night. Next is New Gems with new songs that I listen to in a short period of time. Suddenly there were a lot of cool new songs and they're, they're here. There is also a playlist for my 18th birthday party with some party bangers. Go out with your friends or in times like this with the pandemic, FaceTime or call right to them. Laugh together or talk things out. You can also play games online with them. Play with your pets if you have those. Here you can see my German Shepherd, Alex and my big yellow Buffy. Go for a walk to catch some fresh air, somewhere safe where there are fewer people around. For me it's very refreshing and calming to go for walks. Go for a drive if you have a license and a car, it's really relaxing unless you're scared of driving. You can dance, exercise or find something which involves movement since a healthy body has a healthy mind. What I use is a 
YouTube channel of Fitness Marshall and he is showing some great moves, dance moves uh, connected with exercising. So it's fun, it's healthy. What else do you want? It's everything in one package. He also has a great sense of humor. He, he creates this great atmosphere while practicing and you can adjust uh, how how many videos you want to practice with in a day and here is all the info check that out i recommend it i decorate your room or diy something creativity is the key here i prepared some hot chocolate with marshmallows so first what you need to do is just boil some milk and then you take two packs of hot chocolate you can find those in stores and a pack of small marshmallows then you pour hot chocolate into the milk and boil them then you pour that into two cups and put in marshmallows enjoy and last but not least remember that if nothing helps when you're feeling down you could try and talk it out with someone you trust or there are professionals who can help you like psychologists or any trusted adults you can also write to us on social media or through our site or contact mental health charities we'll leave the links and phone numbers in the description thank you for watching and bye